Haley, congratulations on making Team USA. How does it feel? It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> what are your emotions like when you're at trials and you and you initially found out? Take me through those emotions. It just didn't feel real. I didn't know what I had just accomplished. And just getting out of that pool and knowing that I had made an Olympic team was absolutely unreal and a dream come true. And it just left me so speechless and filled with emotions. What was your family's initial reaction when you first got to hug them and, and see them after you made the team? They were just so proud and they just gave me such a big hug and there were some tears flowing and it was just so amazing to see them so happy and proud of everything that I've accomplished. It's amazing, Haley, how young you are, but you dive like a seasoned veteran. Uh, you dove in your first senior nationals at the age of 13 years old. What was that like and how did it set you up for where you are right now? Going into that meet, I was not expecting, you know, much at all. Obviously, I had just learned the dive just about a month before I had learned all those dives. So I think that was just the first time I was really going into a competition and seeing like all the top competitive athletes. And I came out of that meet winning. And I think that was the first time that everything really set in like, wow, this is, this is my chance. You know, I might actually have a chance at doing something great in the future. Haley, I wanna talk about the adversity you faced. It wasn't always a smooth road. I know you actually contemplated giving up the sport. How were you able to cope with fear and keep pushing? Fear is something that I still struggle with to this day. And I think, you know, it has been a long road for me and mentally learning new things and challenges. But just knowing and getting the support I need, talking to coaches and knowing that it's not always going to be highs, there's going to be lows and obstacles. And that's just a part of growing as an athlete and as a person. So just being able to push past those and knowing that it's going to get better and that I have such a bright future ahead of me is what really motivated me to keep pushing past those. I always struggled with the element of fear as a diver myself. It never seems to, to go away. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how far you go in the sport. What are some of the elements that those coaches tell you? Just knowing that I feel like they see so much more in me sometimes than you see in yourself and that just really trusting them and knowing that they're not going to push you farther than you're ready for and that they know what you're capable of doing and just but giving you, you know, the leverage and motivation to know that if you continue to push past these fears, like you could be amazing. When you're on that diving board and you're setting up and you're taking a deep breath and you're focusing, take us through your thoughts. What are you solely focusing on? I mean, obviously each dive will be a little bit different, but some of those elements. So when I get up on the board, you know, I take a deep breath and set myself up. And I usually just like to think about my hurdle or my back takeoff. Um, just knowing that once I get through that part, that's really the hard part is getting off the board and starting because, you know, I've done these dives so many hundreds of times that once I'm in the air, I'm comfortable knowing what I'm doing. And so it's just, you know, the beginning and starting and then everything just kind of goes from there. Haley, another element that didn't seem to go away last year was the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, it affected all of us and especially you guys in your training. Take me through how you, you got through that time and were able to stay sharp and rise above it. I mean, here you are on the Olympic roster, Team USA. You did it. How, how did you accomplish an attack that time? So in the beginning, obviously, you know, everything was so unpredictable and we were out of the pool, but I was still continuing training at home, doing Zoom calls and practices with our coaches and team. So still definitely staying in shape. And I think the time out of the water actually helped me a lot because I was able to slow everything down mentally and really just, you know, focus on the little things that I didn't really get the time to do while I was just training constantly. And so I think that really actually gave me an advantage in having a little bit of extra time. And fortunately, I was able to get back in the pool relatively soon compared to a lot of people. And so we were just, you know, being flexible and adaptive to everything going on and just, you know, taking advantage of every time that I did get in the water. I want to hone in on Olympic trials. Those first few rounds were so tight. Take me through each round, each dive, what you were thinking, what you were telling yourself and how you were preparing for, for each dive and just staying so focused. So going into you know, the finals, 
I knew that I had a lower degree of difficulty and that there was a lot of amazing divers right behind me. And so I knew it was going to be a challenge, but it was possible. So going in there, I just went with the mindset of just having fun and just giving it my all. And I just really wanted to put together a great list for me. And if I made that team, it was such an amazing accomplishment. But if I just, you know, did myself and that didn't happen, then I would have been happy with that. So going in, I was just, I was really relaxed. I really wasn't even that nervous. I just wanted to hit the dives for me and do the best that I could do. You know, the name of the game is consistency, right? Doesn't matter the DD, you got to nail the dives. Yes. I want to talk about just the three meter springboard in general. Why is that event such a good fit for you? Definitely. I've always been more of a springboard diver and coming from my team, we haven't had a lot of platform exposure because we don't have platforms at my training facility. And so springboard has always kind of been my thing and it's what my coach is always focused on. And so I think I've been able to really develop my skills on the springboard. For sure. And I'm sure you're very excited. You have the Olympic Games coming up and then you'll be a Texas Longhorn. Are you so excited to join that that group of amazing divers? I'm super excited. And it is such an amazing program, not only for you know diving and there's such amazing coaches. And I can't wait to just be a part of that and continue to grow as a diver. And I'm sure you're excited with Allison Gibson and Jordan Wendell on, uh, on the roster with you and Team USA teammates. What is it like watching those guys compete and dive? What have you learned from them? I've definitely just, you know, I've seen them grow as competitors and athletes. And I've learned so much about, you know, them and their training and coming from UT also. So just being able to compete against them and know that, you know, this is just the beginning for me and I'm only going to continue to thrive in, in that environment. It's just super exciting to see them achieve their dreams too. It's only a few weeks away. Let's talk about your mentality heading into Tokyo. You know, where are you at right now, both mentally and physically heading into the Olympic Games? Right now, I'm, you know, just getting back into really starting to dial down my training again and getting off of the high of Olympic trials and all of that stuff. So I'm just starting to dive back into training and knowing that, you know, I still have a few more weeks. This isn't the end. You know, I still got to get to Tokyo, still got to compete. And so I'm just, you know, training every day, focusing on that and just super excited to go out there and compete. I love that you bring up the high of Olympic trials, right? Celebrate right after it happens. And then you just got to reset and focus. How were you able to do that? So coming home, you know, I got so um, such an overwhelming support of people from my community team and all of that. And so just really being it, that setting in saying like, wow, I'm an Olympian now. And like all these people are congratulating me. You know, it took a while to get used to, but knowing that I've grown up training and been around them all the time and just that I have to get back to focusing and I still have a job to do. Amen to that. What a great mentality. Um, Haley, a lot of a lot of viewers don't know us divers super well, right? I mean, we all have little superstitions, things we did. One thing I like to do was shave my legs before events, which is crazy because some people would view that as an opportunity to slip, but I loved it. Um, I know that you wear a certain bathing suit. Can you take us through what that suit is and why you love it so much? It's usually, I mean, there's a few different suits that I have, but I like to stick to the same certain ones. It changes depending on whether I'm like competing with my club or more at like an international meet level. But I usually stick with plain blacks or blues for three meter. And I have a certain like club team suit that I like to wear for three meter all the time. Um, I think that I just like, I've always grown up wanting to like look clean and sleek like that. And once I started doing that, it's like I started having results. And so from then on, I just started following the same routine. And it's just something that I like to do every time. It's amazing how much a, a swimsuit or a, a Sammy or, or shaving or whatever little things we do, it, it just makes such, a, such an impact on um, you know, how we're feeling and how we put ourselves forward in the competition. So thank you for sharing that. <laughs> Um, Haley, I know you are always calm, cool, and collect on the diving board, but you jam out to a playlist during competitions, you know, kind of take us through that music that you listen to. I listen to all sorts of music, whether it's rap or pop, but I think 
one things or a few like genre that really gets me through is um, I love Spanish music and Latin music. So I listen to a lot of that and Pitbull is one of my favorite artists. So I listen to a lot of those songs when I'm competing. Do you have certain songs before certain dives or is it just you let the playlist go and you, you listen to what comes up? <laughs> Yeah, usually I just kind of listen to a certain playlist, but um, recently I've been listening to sometimes when I need just a little extra boost, um, Give Me Everything by Pitbull. I think that one has a significant meaning for me because within the past year, I was struggling a bit with some mental blocks and things. And one day that song just came on and it's kind of what really like motivated me and I got off some of my dives. And so from since that day on, every time, you know, I hear that song, it just really gets me going and motivates me. Can you take us through some of those mental blocks? Because obviously they're, they're behind you now. You know, the past is the past. Yeah, um, I definitely, I struggled a lot within, I said the past year or two um, with some mental blocks. And honestly, it was a lot of the dives that I was competing at trials. And it was another just block in my road where I was like feeling kind of low and, you know, knowing that I, had this meets coming up and college and everything. And so it was a stressful time for me, but again, it was another great learning experience for me and I've learned so much and overcome those. So I'm really happy that I'm back to where I am, but I'm glad that I learned a lot from it and that I'm moving forward now. It's amazing all that you've accomplished and you're so young, this is just the beginning. I know you don't even wanna talk about the future, but what are your goals, Haley? Um, for the future of you know, going into college, of course, I have NCAA championships and that's something I've always aspired to do and maybe become you know, an NCAA champion. And then, of course, just continuing on my um, international career more in the senior level and then hopefully Tokyo or sorry, Paris 2024. <laughs> Haley, I know I, I sound like a broken record, but it, it's amazing you're on the Olympic team. I mean, what are your thoughts? Like, how do you feel right now heading into the Olympic Games? I just feel so amazing. And I'm just so honored. And I just can't wait to represent such an amazing country and just go out there and get to experience such, uh, you know, once in a lifetime opportunity, you know, not everyone gets to experience it. So just going out there and being able to compete against the best in the world, I'm just super excited. Haley, just a, a fun question. Um, you know, take us through your your favorite meal? Like, what do you, when you wake up the day of a competition, what do you eat? And, um, you know, what is your favorite, like, night before meal that you eat the night before your competition? I don't have any, like, set meals, you know, that I, I go to, but some of my favorite breakfast staples are uh, bagels. I love bagels and all sorts of fruits. And then um, for evening competition meals. I think a go-to is always just some pasta. I think those are my go-tos. Nice. So no like candy or, or coffee or anything? During meets, usually um, my coach, ever since we were little, we've always had a thing where we're not allowed to eat sweets during the competition week. And so I don't have any sweets. So it's always something to look forward to after the competition. If you don't have a sweet tooth, that's easy to do, right? But if you do, that's a, a tall task, right, Haley? Yeah definitely took a lot of training for that but <laughs> take us through your your training routine right now um heading up into the olympic games so right now i'm training twice a day during throughout the week and then just once on saturdays and that um involves you know diving twice and then we also do some light um weight lifting and then other the trampoline and dry land stuff like that and so i'm in the pool for about three hours a day and then on top of those other things. And I know you're gonna do a great job in Tokyo. Congratulations again on such an incredible milestone. You are an Olympian and that is amazing. Thank you.